The heating in this room is underfloor heating. In fact, we've got three zones of underfloor heating in this living space, in the dining room, and in the sitting room. Underfloor heating uses a tube like this, which is an aluminium tube uh, with an inner plastic lining and an outer plastic lining. And it's guaranteed for 50 years underneath because there are no joins in it. They make it in a long loop to the customer's requirements. And then you can see how it goes loop, loop, zigzag across the floor. It's water filled. How does it save energy? You only need to heat the water to about 50 degrees for underfloor heating, whereas the heating in your radiators in the traditional system must be up to about 70, 75 or 80 degrees. So there's less gas used in, in heating the water for the system. Second thing about it is because it's underfloor, you get gains on the wall. You don't have um, radiators hanging there. The way that underfloor heating works is to heat up the concrete, which is then like a night store heater. It's giving off heat from, for a number of hours to come. That does mean, on the plus side, that it's, it's very comfortable. However, on the other side, um, it's slow to react. You can't come in out of the cold and rain and get instant heat. And you may want to consider some other form of um, quick heating um, in, in the room. And what we've done is we've had underfloor heating here and then in the evening we go into the sitting room where we've got an instant gas fire. But with underfloor heating, the heat arises wherever you are. It does feel different and it does feel much more comfortable than traditional um, radiators. But sometimes people fit underfloor heating and because there isn't enough depth, they don't put in the necessary insulation. So some of people's money is going into heating the earth below, which of course is crazy. So you've got to make sure you've got sufficient depth. In our house, we had to have a concrete floor here because of the building work for the extension. In the next room, the dining room, we found there was rot in the floor. And what we actually did was knock down the wall and instead of paying money and carbon to take away the bricks, it went into the hole and we were then able to turn it into underfloor heating. What you can see under the stairs there is the um, valves that go into the underfloor heating. So the water system comes along, heated from the boiler upstairs, and it goes out in three different loops. And then each loop is on a controlled timer. What other systems are available? The two that I'm aware of is A, the water system, and B, um, uh, electric wires going underneath. The disadvantage of the electrical one is that electricity takes three times as much carbon to, to, to heat the same amount. So obviously a water-based system using gas is much more um, carbon efficient.